Hello everyone, this is Phoebe from the Bugsnag team. Today I'm going to show you how to configure error alerts in Bugsnag. One of the greatest features for productivity in Bugsnag is the alerting and workflow engine. It allows you to streamline your debugging workflow and stay focused. At a basic level, Bugsnag notifications inform you of new errors that appear in your application. And Bugsnag works with email, team chat, issue tracking tools, incident management tools, and business intelligence tools. You can set all that up in your settings by clicking on the gear at the top right of your screen. You can see you have a few quick access options which all take you to the same settings page, but the first thing I'm going to show you now is my account settings. In this view, you can change your name and email address very easily. Decide if you wish to receive emails for all new projects or if you would like to manually select projects to subscribe to. Click into a specific project to select the type of information you would like to be notified for. Apart from email, you can adjust your notifications within each individual project. For example, let's take a look at this Android project. From this view, you can link your project to your existing tools for issue tracking, incident management, and business intelligence. For example, let's click into issue tracking. You can see here that this project is currently integrated with Jira, but Bugsnag is also compatible with a long list of issue tracking tools. If you click into each tool, you have the option to set the parameters for your notifications. The basic features of the alerting and workflow engine allow you to specify the release stage and then by error type, severity, and status. And here's where the alerting and workflow engine offers advanced filtering. With this feature, you can set the parameters to only receive actionable alerts that are relevant to you. And you can do this by attaching a customized bookmark that is saved in your project. If you'd like to learn more about creating bookmarks, you can click on the link at the top right of the screen. In our search and segmentation demo video, I show you an in-depth tutorial of how to build and save bookmarks in Bugsnag. So let's switch over to the project view to go over a quick example of one of the best ways you can really maximize value from this feature. I'm going into the search builder and I'm going to add a few customer IDs. Let's say these are my top, most valuable, highly cared for customers. I'm going to set that filter and then save it as a bookmark and let's just call it Phoebe's bookmark for now. So when I go back into the project settings and I configure my Slack integration, I can set an advanced filter for my alerts by leveraging this bookmark that I've just created. Now you can make sure that you'll receive a Slack notification every time an error impacts your VIP customers, the customers that you absolutely want to have a perfect user experience. And this is the method you would use to create any advanced alerting filter. We're leveraging bookmarks to achieve this. And there you have it. This is how you can configure your error alerts in Bugsnag using the alerting and workflow engine. And you have the freedom to come up with any sort of advanced configuration you can think of. But if you're stumped on ideas for how you can really boost productivity with the alerting and workflow engine, I've got you covered. We have a playlist of the top five ways you can start customizing your error alerts to streamline your workflow and achieve your business objectives. So take a look at that now. I'll put it up on the screen. Thanks everyone. See you in the next video.